why hello <laughs> anyways hi guys welcome back to another uh reaction today we're reacting to the smg4 theorists once again i know they uploaded a brand new video however i'm gonna wait a minute on that one just because i've been dying to watch this one for a long time and i've been putting it off for uh, for, for too long sorry i'm gonna move my mic all right there we go and anyway so i'm very 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 excited to watch this one it's about peach and how like the new chasm that's now in the mushroom kingdom because the Princess Peach's castle is now dead in the ground, but they don't like talking about it because they're like, hey, we still are a Nintendo channel, definitely, but anyways. <laughs> if you guys want me to make a rant video about my problems with SMG4, please let me know and I'll consider it. <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, one last thing before we get into this. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for checking out the brand new NRG episode. It is the finale to A Relic of Love arc, the newest arc in the series. And my goodness, it was such, so, so fun to make it. So thank you to the team and to everybody for watching and helping out with the series. It truly has meant the world to me. Either way, let's get that shit out of the way and let's roll the intro. Boom, boom. <laughs> All right, so you guys know the drill. Uh, make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe to them. Full credit to them, not me. Link in the description below. Uh, this is called SMG4 Theory, The Deathly Depths of Peach's Castle. My goodness. Uh, I originally was trying to read that title before I started recording this video, and my dumbass couldn't read it for the life of me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, be sure to check them out. Full credit to them. All that. And I'm actually really excited because I I want SMG4 to go back and, like, like do more with this. Like, I don't know. I just feel like the current writing of SMG4 is just becoming increasingly increasingly more shit either way let's do this shit three two, one ah what a lovely nap good slumber what's this no way they're finally gonna finish the puzzle vision soccer after a full year i can't wait to see what they do three days later Okay, I agree. The ending to the Puzzle Vision movie was garbage. And also, the newest episode with Mr. Puzzles. I'm 100% aware that it was the original voice actor that was on me. I made an oopsie. My bad. But also, the episode still sucked. The writing... Uh, the writing... Uh, they, if they just fire the new writers and get new ones, it'd be so much better. Why is this not at the Do 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 a god Aw oh, Melanie. You'll be using the show once it oh one day. Hell yeah. I still love that fucking Hello, intro. Hello internet, still welcome love to that SMG4 intro. Theory. Thank I'm you. I'm your host Jack, and who boy, we need to SMG4 play. Theory, come on, get me on Get me on an episode. I'll do an episode. I'll do an episode. The Puzzle Vision movie. Now, I don't want to sound rude to the team that put countless hours into this project. Hell, yeah, I right. love the animation, and yeah. <laughs> the jokes made me smile. <laughs> God, no, no, but no, I reacted to that on Twitch and Jesus Christ, I wanted to die. No. I just can't get over how underwhelming it felt. Like, there were various yeah. dangling plot threads that were introduced over the course of the saga, but they weren't even given a mention in the finale itself. However, I guess it is our job to sort out these things, so here I am. So today, I'm going to take a step back and look towards one of the biggest mysteries that SMG4 has left completely ambiguous to its Thank you. in the story. Thank you. That's right. Today, I'm talking about the mysteries behind Peach's Castle. Yep. However, to start this theory... Back when the show was... So, let's go back about mm, a no, year not, or so. Not respect to the respectable. Of, it's got to be perfect. I still like the show, everybody. Don't think Peach's I don't Castle. Like the main comic Sans? The castle what the fuck? Did I just see Comic Sans? And also being SMG4's house. The castle was also inhabited by dozens of toads, including Toadsworth and, of course, the princess herself. It was overall a good place to hang out and live. However... It all went downhill when SMG4 tried to make the perfect video oh, at shit. all costs. This unfortunately led to the events that transpired on Mario Day 2023, where yeah. the entire castle oh, yeah, was destroyed was by... Day. Back when I didn't do a, a SMG4 this reactions. Thing. Okay, look, I know this is supposed to be a part of the demon keyboard and all, but let's be honest. This abomination looks like one of the monsters from Half-Life. I thought it was I disgusting and creepy. Anyways, 
After this, we didn't really hear much about Wait, the, of the castle until about four months later in the SMG4 episode, Let's Go Visit Peach, where we see the remains of the castle spread across a cabin, with Peach being a full-on Skillet fan. I must confess that I'm like a monster. Yeah, I love Skillet. And that's the end of the recap. Now, when looking at the state of the castle after it descended to deep there's no way that could have been. Kingdom, there's no way that that didn't get copywritten, or was that less than seven seconds? Ah. Oh. This makes me curious how deep it actually is. And to do that, we must use. Okay, the editing's on point, but Jesus Christ, they do not hold back on the images. I guess I'm just not used to seeing that, like people on YouTube, like so okay with making jokes. Because nowadays, I'm like. I see YouTube and people are like, we can't make that joke or we're gonna get cancelled. They're like, nah, fuck it, throw in an image of an anime girl. People will love it. I, I respect that. Scene, we can see Mario falling into a small structure and then falling again into the hole. The cast full time was approximately 1 minute and 16 seconds. And accounting for the Earth's gravitational pull, 9.807 meters per second square, we can calculate the depth of the hole Ugh. with this formula. I hate how One like, half it moves times the gravitational like pull so of Earth times square. Uh, no, not that times. Okay, um... They, they definitely fixed it in their newer ones. You could definitely tell this is one of their older ones just because the music is way louder than him. That's my only critique. That's my only critique. That being yeah. said, I've done it before too. Why do too. I have to always get the bloody stupid scripts with the stupid puns? Like, are, you, are you kidding me? Why is it always me? Yeah, <laughs> poor guy. This man deserves better. <clears throat> anyway... With this formula, we can calculate that the cars fell a whopping 28,308 meters. But, but that obviously can't be right. Uh, it's more than double the depth of the Mariana Trench. Well, that's because it's not fully right. You see, we also need to take into account air resistance, also known as oh, drag. Okay. Drag is basically the force that acts on a moving object while falling. For example, a parachute exploits this by having a big I've been skydiving, actually. Fun fact about Nick, slow it down. I've been skydiving. After this, it's fun. we also need to consider the subject's weight. Now, we don't really know SMG4 and SMG3's weight. However, we do know Mario's canonical weight. And no, it's not infinity. <laughs> Mario weighs 50 kilograms, and considering that all the characters fall this Wait, how much does he weigh? Crazy, <laughs> Mario weighs 50 kilograms. 110 pounds! I weigh more than Mario. You know, he's small. Okay, I'm, I'm six feet, so at least I get that excuse. And considering that all the characters fall at the same speed, it means that they all have around a similar body weight. Off of this, we also need to add- Maggie's a similar body- body. Okay. Alright, alright. I think that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. Filled. And to convert that into meters, there must be- There's also Mario's a little- fight. Plump, so... I mean, hey. I could be wrong. He is small. That's of course, Mario. Mario in the scene is 44 pixels tall. I love that fucking that middle finger the height is 135 using. centimeters, or 5 foot 1. We can divide the height, aka 1084 pixels, by 44, and then multiplicate that by Mario's canonical height. The result? An initial fall of 38 meters. That, if we also take into account air resistance, gives us a fall of 7,658 meters. Now, why is this important? Well, because the Eldritch Skew has a weakness against light. You see, and it's gotta be perfect, the Demon Keyboard created the Eldritch Skew in SMG4's room. Before he bought the demon keyboard, his room had the lights on. Mm. However, after SMG4 bought the demon keyboard, his lights were turned off and the Elgin Screw took over the castle. Okay. Later, when Mario, Maggie, and SMG3 went in, what did they find? The lights turned off. Oh. And the castle was taken over completely by the Elgin Screw. To prove my point even further, right. the new cabins where the Elgin Screw currently resides, it has expanded a lot compared to when it was on the surface. Why? Because in the cabins, no light can pass through due to it being extremely deep, and that helped the Elgin Screw take over the cabins. In addition to that, the Elder Skew is trying to expand towards the surface as seen through the faithful scene of Let's Go Visit Peach. I guarantee and we're going to get an arc based on this because they've left it alone for so long. And that's going to be like their way of saying, we didn't forget when they did. They did. But this explains what this big mouth that sits on the surface is exactly. This thing is actually protecting the Elder Skew and trying to block light from coming to prevent the goo from expanding. Oh, now let's look over to its still gross. As stated by Maggie, the effects of the goo are dangerous, and if someone is in contact with it for too much time, it will take over their bodies, transforming them into a monster. This is yeah. obviously proven with the existence of Malice transforming Princess Peach. Yeah. Now, sure, Peach was sort of a monster even before the transformation took place, but I do assure you there's a stark contrast between the two forms. I like that's that, the clip Maggie, that they showed her right the re to represent Peach. Who <laughs> is? Is their smash ability. Also due to the fact that she has no control over her mind at the moment, but that's not as important. The Elder Skew, from what I can find, must control Peach's body. Hence why she looks so... Uh, soulless. 
Right. To be completely honest, the goo has a similar role to gloom from The Legend of Zelda Tears okay. of the Kingdom. An almost indestructible substance that tries to cause destruction Fantastic game, its part. Hell, the biggest difference between the two I could find was that Gloom comes from an evil Gerudo King, while the Elder Goo comes from an evil keyboard bought by Sauce Websites. So what does this all go to culminate in? Well, my theory is that the Elder Goo will expand in the underground of the Mushroom Kingdom, slowly growing in mass until it is able to rise to the surface and wreak havoc onto the residents, making SMG4 have that's, its faces gross to negligence that's and that's what I also think. wrongs. But hey, that's you know just what? the theory. And I really like that theory. theory, and the thing is, for you're welcome for watching. That was really good. Hey, that took a while. Hope my computer isn't exploding. Anyways, <laughs> no pro GB here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like more of those weird, wacky, and experimental theories, be sure to subscribe. It helps out a lot. All right, see ya. Well, that was really good. Great job, guys. Honestly, and I genuinely hope that that like um that ending idea of like it ends up spreading to the point where it like it, it comes up and like. We could totally get like another like um, T pose virus type of or like mini arc where everything is like covered in this shit and it's starting to like wreak havoc everywhere. I'd love that. That is a fantastic idea. Anyways, good shit, guys. Good shit. All right, so that was SMG Four Theory. Peach's Castle something something something. <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt the name again. I'm gonna fuck it up. Anyways. <laughs> Um, that was a that was really good, and I'm very happy that people still remember and people are still theorizing what the fuck was that? Because that was like back when I didn't do SMG4 theories, I just kept on watching to see like is Axel back? Is Axel back? Is Axel back? I only checked the big movies or the episodes that looked big. I'm like nope, 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 nope. Okay, I don't I don't need to. But then I I wanted to try reacting to it, and you guys can see where that's led me. So. Um, I do plan on going back and reacting to those old episodes. I have been see seeing your guys' comments of me if you guys wanted me to react to the old arcs or just like some of the older movies or episodes. So I will be doing that. No worries. That will be coming. Just I don't know when. Either way, that was fantastic. Great job, um, SMG4 Theory. I really, really enjoyed that. Yeah, um, keep on going, guys. I'll be sure to react to the new episode as well. And yeah. Uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Help us get to... 11,000 subscribers and be sure to check out the brand new energy episode um the finale for a relic of love arc and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm so stupid <laughs>